Mia, hi. Uh, thanks for joining me, and it's so great to see you. Um, on behalf of the number one personal care brand for athletes, um, Art of Sport, um, welcome. I first off wanted to just say that every month the Art of Sport selects a college athlete who is keeping it fresh on the field and outplaying the competition um, to be the freshest player of the month. And um, I'm excited to present you um, the winner um, in this month's um, selection. So first off, sorry, I have these stats because they're crazy and you're such a stud, but you. you led UCLA to a 16-0 and three record, back to back Pac-12 champs, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Um, so proud. And you led the team in goals scored and I believe points as well. Um, and as part of the honor, you become a uh, part of the artist sport family um, in one of their first NIL deals and get a year supply um, worth of artist sport products. So that's like incredible. Yeah, that's um, awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thank that's you. so cool. And you're a star. Um, now I kind of like want to talk about your season. You had such an incredible season. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to ask you like a few questions if, if that's okay, just so, you know, the art of sport community can get to know you. And yeah, of course. The first question is art of sport lives and breathes by the motto, hustle hard, stay fresh. How do you feel you put in more work than the competition and how do you unwind and relax and stay fresh afterwards? I think, um, Relating to like the work hard part, I, I think that a big thing is training hard. Um, at UCLA, like it's great trainings. They do it for a reason, like spe specified in Fords. And they know they had Sam Lewis, like you, um, coming through their program. This And obviously you guys are, are big time. And, and I think that it makes it more motivating to actually like go to training every day and, you know, put in all my work because I know it's going to eventually like help me out in the long run. But uh, the second question would be walk us through your pregame routine and how do you get ready and get into game mode? Like, do you have any superstitions or anything that you do? It's very boring. Mine is just very chill. Um, I would say like eating is very important to me. Like I'm just an eater. I love food as it is. Like I make sure that like I have a healthy breakfast, a healthy pregame. Um, to get my body right, because I know I'm going to expend a lot of energy in the game. I'm drinking lots of fluid by, when I wake up the day before, um, all the way to the game. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. Do you eat anything like specific or are you just kind of like whatever you're feeling and depending on like the time of the game? Yeah, it, it's more like how I'm feeling the day. Of. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think on game day, I like eat so plain it's like so gross but i'm just like so amped like you were saying that like you can really eat sometimes as well yeah i'm just like okay like toast and a banana which is like <laughs> gross but i'm like i don't yeah. know it's just like i can't eat anything crazy yeah. yeah um but yeah that's awesome that's awesome what comes next after ucla like what what is in me official's future i built a brand big fish energy that is like it's about empowering, you know, women in sports, young soccer players, about strength, confidence, and empowerment are the three main words. Um, I want to be that voice for for younger athletes, younger female athletes, and and to follow their dreams. Like any dream is not impossible. Like as long as you work hard and you have a good heart, like I believe that you could do anything. So right now I'm just trying to find sponsors and, and partner with. Um, different sponsorships to you know help grow my brand and to get it out there right now it's like in the works with like UCLA fan base but I think this could be like really big so that's what I'm working on right now that's awesome that's so cool um again just like you're so young and you're starting your own brand and um and knowing that there are trailblazers at every age and whatnot is incredible um soccer wise like did you enter the end of your self draft? Um, I, are you, what's your plan? So I, I haven't yet, I haven't entered the draft. I am keeping my options open. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. I like, this is like all new to me. Like, you know, oh, I have my agent and um, she's amazing. And it's just like, um, I'm like, wow, I, I did not know this was like, all this had a plan yeah. and I'm glad I have someone that I trust and has mm -hmm. connections to like, you know, this is your option. This is your option. It's all about what I want. And, so I think right now we're just trying to line up all the options and see what's best for me. 
That's awesome. Um, yeah, well, I think that obviously any team, any league, whatever you decide to do is going to be so lucky um, to have you. And I just feel like you're so mature beyond your age. And that's like just a testament to the type of person you are. And that's really cool. So I don't want to take too much of your time because I know it's Thursday um, and that is a school day for you. But um, thank you so much for like chatting and it was so nice to catch up. Same, you too. Thank you for everything. Okay. All right. Bye, Mia. Bye.